Hi, I'm Randy Vance, Editor-in-Chief of Boating Life Magazine. Today I'm testing the Sailfish 2360cc. It's a center console with a lot of hardcore features on board, but Sailfish has built so many nice recreational features, we think it's actually going to squeeze its way into the deck boat market as well. In our test, the 2360 rode like a much bigger boat. Sailfish's variable dead rise hull cleaves chop but offers excellent stability at rest or while trolling. The nine foot beam made the cockpit roomy and ideal for serious angling crews. Our test boat was equipped with a Yamaha F250 outboard turning a 15 and a half by 17 inch saltwater series two prop. Our test load was 235 pounds of passengers and 75 gallons of fuel. Yamaha's command system instruments included fuel flow information which showed us the most efficient cruise speed was 28.1 miles per hour at 4,000 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 8.6 gallons per hour and getting 3.3 miles per gallon. Our top speed was 44.6 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. We accelerated the plane in 3.9 seconds and reached 30 miles per hour in just 7.5 seconds. To begin with, Sailfish added a really comfortable plush bow seating area. These cushions stow away though, and that makes it a hardcore fishing area as well. The second way they set it up is with a filler cushion that gives you an enormous sun pad. Now the bow isn't the only area of this boat that's set up both for recreational cruising, hardcore fishing, and water sports. Step back with me. Now aft, this is where the water sports happen as well as the fishing. Right now we've got it set up for water sports with this retractable tow pylon. If you want to tune the ride for wakeboarding, you can use the trim tabs, the engine trim, and use the live well for ballast. Another great feature that water sports enthusiasts will like are the three showers on board. There's one forward, there's one in the head compartment under the helm, and there's another one at the transom. Also at the transom, you've got a boarding ladder that tucks in under a hatch, making it easy to get in and out of the water. Now setting the boat up for hardcore fishing is a snap. You retract the tow pylon like we did, remove the jump seats to open up the cockpit for fighting fish, then you've got easy access to your live well here. It's a 30 gallon aerated live well. You've got bolsters all around to make it comfortable to lean against the side when you're fighting fish and tow rails to give you secure footing. Now on board, we found nine rod holders in the gunnels and in the transom. We also found eight on the T-top and four more on the leaning post. This boat is set up to fish. You know what, we found six more under the gunwales to stow rods away. Now in addition to hardcore fishability and recreational fun, one thing we've always been impressed with with sailfish boats is all the attention to detail in building a solid hull. This one is Kevlar fiber reinforced. The deck is carbon fiber reinforced. A strong all fiberglass hull is only as good as the hardware on it and sailfish has always paid great attention to heavy duty stainless steel cleats, rod holders, oversized scuppers. Another great feature on board is the VSR system that senses battery charge on the two batteries and diverts the alternator power to the battery that needs it the most. It also gives you easy access to manage your batteries, turning them on or off or combining them for maximum power. Now with all the good seating on board for the passengers, it stands to reason that Sailfish has reserved the best spot for the captain and his mate. We really like the way the leaning post is set up. We like the comfortable step here that gives you really comfortable ergonomics as you're driving for long range cruising. We like the way that the helm is set up with stainless steel tilt wheel and the binnacle falls directly into hand. It's all very comfortable. Another nice arrangement is the digital touch pad to operate all your electronic equipment. That's waterproof and it's also very reliable. The Sony Drive S stereo and speakers is one of the best sounds on the water, and this one is equipped with an MP3 port so you can bring your tunes with you without CDs. We found the Yamaha F250 gave a really snappy ride. The variable degree dead rise hull was crisp in turns and smooth in rough water. We also like the fact that Yamaha command link instrumentation on the dashboard gives you a clear LCD digital readout that lets you quickly and easily monitor everything that's going on in your engines. Sailfish's expertise has always been at building hardcore fish boats and satisfying the need for recreational family fun. But they've taken that to a new level with the 2360cc by adding a retractable tow pylon, optional wakeboard racks, and a plenty of family water sports fun that includes showers and a reboarding ladder as well. This boat is fun for everybody, 
fishermen and families alike. We think you're going to enjoy taking a look at this one.